Lebanon is scrambling to start exploring offshore gas in the Mediterranean, which probably holds some of the largest reserves in the world. The potential gas could be worth billions of dollars from tens of trillions of feet of natural gas under the seabed. This has prompted the Lebanese government to draft laws for exploration and bring in the biggest companies in the world for a round table to prepare for its first round of licensing for exploration rights. The Lebanese hydrocarbon resources law has been passed by the Lebanese parliament last 17th of August 2010. And uh, the law, however detailed and modern it is, it remains a framework, a general framework. And to be executed, it needs the implementation decrees. And that's what we are doing at the Ministry of Energy and Water. The gas companies will likely enter into a profit-sharing agreement with Lebanon, where they conduct the exploration and drilling, and then split the revenue with the Lebanese government, which will avoid inflating the energy prices in a country with gasoline prices fluctuating weekly. But getting the gas is not certain. Israel has also staked a claim to the gas and has threatened to use force to protect it. This also brings the fear that more pollution could wash onto the shores of Lebanon, as it did in 2006 when Israel bombed a Lebanese power plant. We are in the process of drafting uh, uh, the regulations and the strategic environmental assessment and all, all the decrees that would be necessary for, uh, to complete the law before the launching of the first licensing round. The Eastern Mediterranean could hold one of the world's largest reserves of natural gas, but such enormous potential also bears the risk of conflict over who owns it, as well as the potential for an environmental nightmare. Andrew Bisson, in Beirut, Nile International.